Hello, I'm Marcus Boston. In today's quick educational video, I want to talk with families who are taking the wait and see approach. That's what we call it, the wait and see approach after their baby has suffered a traumatic brain injury at birth. The reason why I wanna talk with you about this today is because from time to time, we will have families who will reach out to us and their baby, which is no longer a baby anymore, could be 15, 16, 17 years old, and they are now having questions. They're now looking to try to get a lawyer involved. And what can happen in some of these cases is because so much time has passed and went on, memories have gotten fuzzier and there is hard to find the medical records that are associated with the labor and delivery. And so what I want to talk with you about today is that if your baby has suffered a traumatic brain injury at birth, or maybe you've got an HIE, hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy diagnosis, and you may not be saying right now, look, I don't want to talk to a lawyer. I'm not going in that direction. That may be true now, but in some instances, for some families, the things may change as they move into the future. And if you are one of those families where things may change, do, taking these steps can help your future self. And so what, they, what are they? It is to get the medical records immediately. Get the medical records. Even if you're not gonna do anything right now, get the medical records. Because like I said, in the future, it may be harder to find records or certain things may, may, may be hard to find. And so when you're getting these medical records, make sure that you are getting a couple of sets. You wanna make sure that you get mom's records. And in other words, you want mom's labor and delivery records and you want the baby's records. Make sure that you request the baby's records also. In addition to mom and baby's records, be sure to get the strips, the readings from the electronic fetal heart monitor. Make sure that you request these too. Now, these requests are generally, they gotta be made in writing, uh, and so you wanna make sure you do it in writing and see if they will give you a disc, a CD, or some type of electronic format because these can cost in some instances. So I just wanna talk with you today about this because this is important. And like I said, from time to time, we'll have families that will contact us and so much time has went forward or, or went on that it's hard to find this information. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's quick educational video. I also wanna remind you that I practice law here in the state of Maryland, and if you are contacting me or if you reach out to me, understand, and if you're not in Maryland, understand that I have to use what we call co-counsel or local counsel. In other words, an attorney in your state, and that's something that we can help you with, but I just wanna make sure that you understand that local counsel or that co-counsel aspect of things if you're not in Maryland. All right, that's gonna be it for today's video. Again, I'm Marcus Boston. Talk with you next time.